Welcome to University 401, the education section. So I'm going to walk you through a few things on the course here. And, but always, if you have a question, uh, feel free to email either Prof. Munchal or myself. So I'm going to get you started by showing the initial page here. And you can go to uh, news items at any time. That's where we'll, we will keep things updated right here in the news items, which is where you will be viewing this video. And then um, you can get to Content Browser either by just scrolling down a little bit. Most of you are familiar with D12 by now. But of course, I uh, sometimes prefer the uh, content view that comes from clicking the content. And then it just gets strictly to that content view. For me, that helps uh, just lay things out a little bit better. So if you go to Content View and you go to Begin Your Journey Here, that's where you should start. All right, and we're going to look at the class overview here together. So I've got a little opening message here, but right now I'm going to click on the class overview and explanation, and we're going to walk through that in just a moment. So begin your journey here. We have some expectations of all of the uh, participants after showing the learning objectives that we have for this course and how they relate to the institutional learning obje objectives. So our expectations of some do's and some don'ts, so take a moment to look at that. Uh, we break down the course calendar. You will see that each week we will uh, meet face to face. You will be doing that with Prof. Munshaw primarily. And, but also each week you will have an assignment online. Um, so we have two assignments actually. One will be a discussion about uh, one of the case studies that you have read. Um, and you'll discuss that with your peers. And then another will be what I call a one page, uh, which I'll uh, mention here in a moment. Let me just say on the uh, discussion forums, you need to make sure that you uh, respond with something meaningful to your peers, not just simply, oh, I like what you said or I agree with you on this. You need to actually reference a uh, ethical framework in your response to your peer and referencing an ethical framework kind of say why you agree or disagree with what your peer has uh, said in that particular discussion post. All right. Uh, we will also uh, discuss that further uh, in our first face-to-face -face meeting. Then our assessments are broken down um, as follows. These actual percentages are going to change just a bit, and you'll see that uh, reflected in D2L in the grades section. But you all have written assignments. They're called one-page assignments. I'm going to show you an example of those here in a moment. All right, um, And those are again, actually going to be 40% of your grade, and the rest will be 20 you have discussion for that we've just mentioned. You need to respond to your peers. You need to make an original post and respond to at least uh, two or three uh, peer replies here. You can see how I break down the grade of that. Your class participation on the Friday sessions will be 20% of your grade. And then your um, presentation, the final paper, will be built into your written assignments. That's where the 40% comes from. And then your presentation uh, on common day learning will be worth 20% as well. All right, so that's kind of a breakdown, just an overview of the course. Okay, so let's jump back out to the table of contents. And you'll see uh, right up front here the one-page instructions and an example. That's going to be uh, one of your primary grades is how you uh, read these case studies and then you respond to them. So I have both instructions on how to do that, and then I've given you an example of a student that has... Uh, prepared a good one-page response uh, previously, and I show that as an example. So you need to look through this. Your one pages should be one full page, single spaced, with just one regular inch, one inch margins, and 11 to 12 point font. So all you should do is just put your name at the top, first and last name at the top line, skip one line, and then start writing. So I don't need a big header, I don't need a date, uh, or anything like that. You just put your name, skip one line, and start your writing. The idea is for you to say some good, thoughtful, quality things, but to do it succinctly in just one single-spaced page, okay? Um, and so then I've given you an example of what a one page will look like, uh, or a good one page looked like. So this person, um, Jane Doe, has responded to one of our case studies using multiple frameworks, ethical frameworks, and has done a good job of what I'm looking for there in the one page responses. Okay, so we'll take a look at that uh, as well. Okay, so jumping back out to uh, content again. Let's go into just week one so you get an idea right up front because you're going to have some assignments that are due that very first time you meet with Prof. Munshaw on that first Friday. 
Okay, so let's go into week one and two. Obviously, also up here on syllabus, go in and look at your syllabus. That'll give you more detail on uh, all of these uh, situations. Um, and then it also, Prof. Munch, will be um, posting ethics lectures there after those uh, have been done in class. Let's skip to uh, here to module week one and two. Week one then will be topic one, Christian ethics. So right over here, again, at the top of each one of these, you'll see it's a web page. It's listed as a web page, but that's, you need to click on those because that outlines the assignments for each week. Okay. So as I click on that, it's going to bring up uh, this week's assignments. You can see that we have them broken down into an overview statement. We have essential questions that you'll be ask, uh, asking in this uh, particular week. And then we have the assignments broken out with their due dates. Okay, so assignment 1A, uh, you actually, before our first week, you need to view the video uh, presentation right here, which is embedded, uh, delivered by Dr. Sam Wells. You need to... Uh, do an outline, listen carefully, making a formal outline of his presentation, so outline the different ethical frameworks that he talks about, and then based on those uh, categories, uh, what ethical framework might you cl most closely align yourself. All right, you also need to read chapters one and two of the Shapiro and Stefkovich text, and uh, etc. Okay, you'll turn these notes in in the Dropbox, which has an active link right there, and there will be an assignment down here to introduce yourself in the first discussion forum. Okay, and present your thoughts and questions about the Christian ethics based on the video. So you can make a little presentation there on what you thought about the video. Okay, and that's week one assignments all due before uh, you have that first meeting, face-to-face -face meeting on that Friday. All right, and so for each week, we jump back out here to Table of Context. Each week we'll have a page like that which describes the assignments for that week. All right. So uh, that's just a quick overview. Uh, once again, we welcome you to the course. We hope that we can uh, deal with some critical issues as they relate to the field of education. And we'll also make just a little bit of um, uh, linkage, a little bit of talking about education as it relates to incarceration and the prison system as well, so that we somewhat relate to what the, your peers are doing in the larger University 401 group. All right, any questions, don't hesitate to contact us. And uh, we hope that you uh, enjoy dealing with some of these uh, situations that will help prepare you for your own classroom and working with colleagues in the uh, education setting at some point.